This is your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Dr. Don's Weather is made possible by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Sweet Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery, Southern Union State Community College, and the venue at Five Points Farms. Here's Dr. Don. Howdy ho, East Alabama and West Georgia. Welcome to your Sunday. This is your primetime forecast for Sunday, July 28th, 2024, from Dr. Don's Weather. Wet period ahead. We'll tell you all about it in this morning's edition of your primetime forecast. But first, thank you all of our folks over on the West Bank, over in Wadley, Alabama, for being a huge supporter of Dr. Don's Weather. We appreciate all of you folks, including the town of Wadley. I mean, we're talking about the town council, all the folks over there on the West Bank. You guys are too much, and we appreciate you. Be sure and tell the town of Wadley, we appreciate you supporting Dr. Don's weather and hang out over there sometime. They got a lot to offer. Hey, and don't forget about your insurance needs with Jamie Dukas. He can hook you up. He'll come to your living room. He'll talk to you on the phone. He'll talk to you on the internet. However you want to do it, he can handle your needs. He can save you money. And he, in a lot of cases, he can increase your insurance coverage. Call Jamie at 256-831-7770 and find out what Jamie Dukas can do for you. Let's take a look uh, at the weather situation this morning. And yeah, we've got some... Uh, Situations to talk about here. We've got a frontal zone that is kind of stalled out right across Alabama and uh, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia stationary front. And it's going to allow several impu impulses to rotate across Alabama through Monday. And a few storms could be on the strong side. We're probably talking about seeing an increase in coverage this afternoon. It's likely going to continue throughout most of tonight and into your Monday. There will be periods of heavy rain, and a few of those thunderstorms could be on the strong side. We're talking wind gusts of 40, maybe 50 mile per hour winds. We're talking torrential rainfall. Some of these storms will be capable of producing two to three inches of rain per hour. So if they sit right on top of your community, or if you have multiple storms train right across the same location, we could be looking at some flash flooding issues later on today and through the overnight this evening. We saw that happen yesterday, though the coverage wasn't quite as um, significant yesterday as we think it could be today. Uh, and of course, lightning will be uh, the big news story here because when you have these thunderstorms that produce all this rain, uh, the, the, the more uh, rain production you have in the storms, the more lightning output you're going to have. And you can see here on this graphic, we're looking at the lightning risk for Sunday and Sunday night and across all of East Alabama and West Georgia, we are in a significant risk category for lightning. Uh, so this is not going to be a great day to be out on the waterways. I mean, it's going to be a mostly cloudy day. It's going to be humid. We're going to have these showers and thunderstorms pop up this afternoon. Uh, if you're going to be on the lakes, if you're going to be at the rivers, the creeks, anything outdoors, make sure you stay close to uh, and have an escape route to be able to seek cover pretty quick. Um, because you don't want to get caught outside under one of these thunderstorms. The lightning output's going to be pretty tremendous, and it just makes it extremely unsafe to get back to a dock if you're out there on the lake. So uh, keep all of that in mind before you finalize your Sunday afternoon plans. It could be stormy across East Alabama and West Georgia um, pretty much any time today, but I think after 2 or 3 p.m. is when we really start to see things uh, to get going across the region. Speaking of uh, getting things going, <laughs> it's been quiet for the last uh, several weeks, but here we go again. We have a disturbance coming off the African coast, and this one is poised to be a problem for the southeastern United States. Now, the odds of this uh, developing in the next 48 hours, zero, uh, but when we look 
work out five, six, seven days, we're beginning to get a 30 to 40 percent chance of this developing into a storm system. I think odds are pretty good that we're going to see at least a tropical storm here, if not a hurricane, in the next week or so. And uh, you see that hatched area, the orange hatched area. Now, this thing could move anywhere inside of this area but i'll tell you and this is not i mean literally not worth two cents but i'll mention it because it's out there on social media some of the long-range guidance is suggesting that this will make a very close pass to florida uh, on the southern side and then turn up the eastern coast right offshore uh, so this could be an issue for Miami. This could be an issue for Jacksonville. Uh, this could be an issue for the Georgia southeastern coast, South Carolina, North Carolina. Uh, at the moment, though, all of the uh, southeastern states are still in play. You can see that cone is very wide as we get out there about a week from now. So, I mean, it could end up in the Gulf of Mexico. It's just too early to tell, but understand this one does have a pretty good chance of becoming a problem for the southeastern United States. We will track this for you. We will have the information for you right here on Dr. Don's Weather. Let's take a look at the current conditions at the venue at Five Points Farms. Currently 73.3. It feels like 75 outside. It's muggy. Wind out of the east southeast at three, gusting to four. Humidity is 99%. The barometric pressure, 30.16. Dew point 73. We've had a trace of rain in the past 24 hours, but look, your rain gauge may have zero in it. It may have two inches in it. That's just the way it works here in the south in the summertime. Dew point 73. Uh, high temperature yesterday was 84.4. We currently have partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. Could see a few sprinkles around already. Sunrise this morning was at 551. The sun sets this evening at 744 p.m. Six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. For today, an 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms. We really get things going by mid-afternoon this afternoon. Again, some of those storms could be strong. We could be looking at very heavy rainfall, gusty winds, and very dangerous lightning. Not really a tornado set up, so I'm not worried about organized severe weather, but few of these storms could be quite strong today. 84 will be your high. Then on Monday, look at that, 90% chance of showers and thunderstorms uh, throughout most of the day on Monday. 71 will be your high on Monday, so that's not right. 88 will be your high on Monday. And then on Tuesday, we're looking at a high of 91. The numbers are transposed. We're we're doing a little work on our back end, on our data gathering information. So we, we've got to do some work on our spreadsheets here because our data is reversed on Monday and Tuesday. We'll get that fixed. 70% chance of rain Tuesday, Wednesday, 50. Uh, look at a 30% chance of rain on Thursday. And uh, yeah, we got Thursday twice too. Uh, Friday, we're looking at a 30% chance of showers and a high of 93 degrees. Uh, We'll get that data repaired before we do our next forecast. Let's take a look at the Southern Union State Community College live Doppler HD radar. And you can see we've already got uh, some showers and thunderstorms out there, especially up in northwest Alabama, some heavier storms. Everywhere else across the southeast, we're looking at mostly light rain, few light showers moving, excuse me, across north Georgia. And maybe some sprinkles across East Alabama and then a bigger area of light rain across central Mississippi back in to Louisiana. Let's take you in a little closer on East Alabama and West Georgia. And you can see a few scattered showers uh, down in Chambers County moving up into southern Randolph. Also over in Heard County, a few light showers there as well. Uh, we expect this picture to really change as we get into the afternoon, and we'll have full coverage for you here on Dr. Don's Weather. If it becomes necessary, we'll go live and show you where those showers and thunderstorms are taking place. Don't forget to support us if you can. Head over to our weather store. There's the link. You can also go to the top of the video, and you'll find a clickable link to carry you over to our weather store. Pick up a coffee cup, a T-shirt, a baseball cap, part of the proceeds, Support us here at Dr. Don's Weather. Also, you got to do all those social media things. You know, the follow, share, like, make sure your friends know about us. 
And uh, also head over to our YouTube channel. And you want to subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather. Click the little link, uh, the little uh, bell link, so that when we go live to cover severe weather, you'll be guaranteed to get that notification. This all helps us out, and we appreciate you for doing it. Good Lord willing, if the creek don't rise, I'll see you back in here later today with severe weather coverage or first thing tomorrow morning with another edition of your primetime forecast from Dr. Don's Weather. This has been your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Southern Union State Community College, the venue at Five Points Farms and Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery. Dr. Don's Weather is supported by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Sweet Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, the Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, the Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. Be sure to like us on Facebook, share us with all of your friends, and subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather on YouTube. We will be back tomorrow morning with another edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's Weather.